Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Samus Returns. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskull. Well, uh, nothing but just killing some Metroids today, I guess. Why do we gotta kill the Metroids? Why can't we negotiate with Because them? they eat everything and they'll end all life in the universe. Well, we talked hey, about this. Hey, I eat everything, but I'm not gonna destroy the universe. Are you gonna destroy me? You don't eat that much to end all life in the universe, though. Well, that is true. I just end all life at McDonald's. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I don't partake. Well, what? It's well, bad. One strange thing about this area is that we're now finally going up. Yeah, yeah we're, by a lot. We're we're uh, we're making a loop back around now. Area six was the deepest point of the planet, and now we're making our way back up. Really? Yes. Hmm. Just, so check this out. Planet yeah. power bomb here, right? What? Oh, bomb sparking! Right. Yeah. Uh, we've done that before. It's always fun to do, though. Bomb sparking. It is fun to do. It's always fun. It's easier to do than shine sparking, that's for sure. Oh, I like it. You just... Uh, I'm gonna guess you just get spit out right where you need to be. <laughs> well, except for now, of course. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, so all this technology that's really hurdy and owie, I, I don't like. Yeah, it's it's bad. I've noticed a... Mercury Stream has made Metroid difficult. I, I welcome it. I, I welcome this, uh, this challenge. Uh, not for somebody who's been out of the game for a while. And who hasn't been replaying the entire series? Well, well, that's the thing. You don't have to. They feel like their own game. It's because the free aim and, and the melee and, and the and the maneuver and the difficulty and the hurt and the hurt. Yes, I mean Metroid Fusion could be difficult at certain points, but not this hard. It's it's, it's like refreshing. Oh, fuck off with that. Look how much damage you've taken yeah, over I, nothing. I know. I know. Over the nothing it's that attacked be, it's you. It's gonna be okay. I promise. Look, uh -huh. we're going down an elevator. Uh, no, we're getting hurt. Or is that a transporter? Okay, well, we still need to activate it. Okay. And we did, so good. Yay. That thing's gone. Now let's just kind of breathe a little bit and focus. Until it comes back. Oh, well. There it is. There it is. Kill it. Kill it dead. I don't have any Aeon to get out of the situation, so I just gotta be... Just gotta be tricky. Go! Go! What's blocking me? Of course! <laughs> bombs. Who even ah, uses bombs ah. anybody? This is... That's a lot of hurt. Okay, there. There are no more abilities to give us anymore. Oh, really? So we no have everything? No, no more power-ups. Yeah, we, we've got everything. Oh, that's cool. So now all they have to do is just make everything hard. I'm okay with that, as long as they give you all the necessary tools. And they do. Not to speak too much about Dread, yeah, because I, 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 people are still playing it. But, uh... Yeah, the the amount of hurt you go through to get the thing you need to move on is is kind of sadistic. Right, yeah, uh, well, uh, Dread has been out for two weeks now. By the time this episode comes out, it's oh it's God. been out for not even one week by the time we're doing this episode, you know, talking over it. I've already beaten it. Niskel hasn't. Nope. And, um... That's how it should be, honestly. It, it's my favorite Metroid. I don't know if I'm if I'm saying that because it's uh, fresh in my mind, but just I think I think it is my favorite Metroid. Well, time to mic drop that clang. It it feels like a thirty year old series catching up with modern times and showing why that they're the, why they're the OG. Now here's one thing I want to bring to your attention. Yeah. Dread reintroduced the melee blaster. Where you counter somebody and then using the blaster kills them immediately. Yeah. Will your footage show that in this game? Because this is when it was introduced. Uh, wait, wait, mainly a blaster, like. What you... As in counter, shoot with blaster, they immediately die. It's yeah. in this game. Oh yeah, that that happens sometimes, or I. Okay. I I shoot. I. Counter I know. Them I and... know somebody's been pestering you in the comments to show that off. Counter them and then I do an attack. I mean, unless there's a special move, but yeah, I get I get through. I get through. Okay. Ow! 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 I'm fine! I'm fine! I'm fine! <laughs> God, it all hurts! But I want to talk more about Dread, like, when the actual Let's Play comes out. Let's save it for that, yeah, because people are still playing it. But I figure I'd go ahead and give my two cents on Metroid Dread, you know, now that's, now that's out, and we can talk about it a little bit. Uh, it's my favorite, and it's great, and it's wonderful, and it is a dream come true, and it was well worth the wait. It play it good? Okay, cool. 
That's all we need. Uh, oh, I forgot about purple vision. There we go. Yeah. Had to shift into a different time dimension to get through here. Shift to a dimension where Metroid Dread actually came out, you know, back in 2007. Uh -huh. Metroid Prime doesn't exist. It's just Dread. I can, I can, I can kind of understand why they didn't do Dread for so long, though. Because it said, you know, oh, we, we tried to do it, you know, for the DS and then again in 2011, but it just didn't have the technology. Yeah, but uh, Mercury's team actually was the people who brought it to life. I think I can understand why. There's a lot of, like, graphical elements that, you know, wouldn't have been good on anything other than, you know, high-definition quality. A lot of the art styles they use for the environments, especially. There's a lot of, like, black and shadow everywhere. So I can understand why it went undeveloped for so long. Just needed the right time. The right time, the right people, and the right motivations. And with Mercury Steam and Sakamoto's uh, questionable directions he's taken, he's taken uh, with other M. They, they, did, they did good. They did good. Metroid. Oh, hey, look at that. Metroid. It's an Omega Metroid. Big old boy. It's a big old boy. Let's take this big old boy, big old down. All right. Maybe we can take him to big old Chuck E. Cheese and get him on party hat. <laughs> get Five Nights and Freddy's this stuff. Take him on a Chuck E. G's, Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> Make him feel like a kid again. Metroid, <laughs> Metroid. <laughs> Playing on the arcades, Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> I heard it's your birthday, Metroid, Metroid. I just had to say, I just say, I had to say one and he's off. Chuck E. Chozo. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we hear it's your birthday today. Blah, 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 blah. So imagine they wouldn't have uh, the, the terrible animatronics that had like holograms and shit. Mm -hmm. Either that or like awesome power suits that would higher quality than what we expect from Chuck E. Cheese. But maybe this is how she's able to curl up in a ball so effectively. That's how she hid when the you know the animatronics came out. Oh. Come here. Fuck. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, you just waved at him. I, 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 I think I brushed some plaque off his teeth. <laughs> Hi, I'm Samus, the bounty hunter dentist. <laughs> Would you like me to help your teeth today? Uh, and Why now? There we go. Boom. All right, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Hello, hello. Come here. here you go, here you go. I heard you got a little thing on your chest here. I think I should uh, shoot it off you here. This is what I say the super missiles for. Because the super missiles and during those cutscenes will definitely hit. Most definitely. And you don't have to aim. Yeah, so now that I'm seeing this footage back, let's just say play Dread just for the improvements over this game. Yeah, every, uh, uh, don't tell him what improved, but just know quality of life happened. Yeah, just know that every single problem I had with this game, every single little minor issue, every single big issue I had, has been addressed. And fixed. And fixed. So that's good. That's very good. There we go, dead. Just as good as this Metroid being dead. That's, that is very good, actually. Yoink. Give me that DNA. All right, two more to go. Wow, it's really coming to a close. I know we still have some episodes left, but seeing that ticker go down into the single digits and now to the final three... Uh-huh. It's just great. There's a missile pack around here somewhere, I think. I like missiles. I like them, too. You know who else likes missiles? <laughs> Ridley. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. In his face. He, he, he must, that's why he keeps coming back. It's like, more missiles in the face, Samus! <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That's it right there. <laughs> right in my pterodactyl face. He's, he's overtaking a space colony, and they're like, why? Why are you doing this? And he goes, why? Why? Because I want to get missed in the face. I'm waiting for her. <laughs> he just misses his good buddy, Samus. That's all. <laughs> Missile buddies. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on show up once a month to a missile exchange party. It's like, hey, what kind of <laughs> missile did you get here? Oh, I got some super missiles. Sweet. Check it out, man. Shows a scar it is on his chest. Oh, homing. Homing yeah. missile. Yeah. A missile of the month club. <laughs> you know, like a wine club, but for missiles. <laughs> oh, just imagine if they mixed wine club with with missile club. Hey, oh. very good. Oh, okay. well, I gotta get the thing over here. Okay, then, then up here. With I understand the, now. Uh. Oh no, I'm gonna wipe. All right, Spider Ball, help me out here. There you go. Yeah, you got this. Yes, you got it. Okay. 
Alright. And now... Uh, Slow-mo! Slow-mo! Right. Thinking. There we go. Got it. That, that was... Ah! <laughs> Alright! I'll just go this way then! Running out of Aeon, gotta go a bit faster. Ooh, Running like out of Aeon just for a super missile tank. I don't know what's going on here. Hey guys, check it out. Got a brand new super missile. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Limited edition. You know. Pretty awesome. Wait, why didn't you go to the right? There's something here I can still get. Hang on. Hmm. What? Go back. I idea. Go back. One sec. Just go. Unless it's, yeah, it's, unless it's up here. here. Because there was an explody wall. A explody wall, yeah. yeah. There we go. Ah, and... Fire! <laughs> Got it. Do you think that scrambles her head a little bit whenever that happens? Uh, if you're, if you're going by the manga, apparently, she loves being in the morph ball. Even when being fired by a... I, I just don't see how. Like, in the manga, she just... She gets a more ball power, and she's like, Woo! Yeah! Look at this! I'm like, round! I can roll and bounce this up! Woo! Yeah! Tink, 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 Maybe this is why Metroid Pinball came to be. <laughs> Shoot me! That's Shoot me now! It's probably a dream come true for her. <laughs> it's like, in a pinball game? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Next, you want me to be in Rocket League. This is this is just her her young self loving to be in the morph ball. It's like, oh gee, Willikers, Chozo, I love being in a pinball. Metroid, Metroid. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing more disheartening than thinking you found a place only to realize that you're supposed to come in for the other way. Tink. Yeah. Let's see. They reveal the map. Oh, yeah. these are annoying. Yeah. Please die. I'm glad I got plenty of E-Tanks and, you know, those, uh, yeah. Amiibos certainly helped a little bit. Yeah. You haven't had to use them yet, have you? Uh, we used the Aeon tank once. Didn't it recover? Yeah, and they recover, so... Oh, okay. No big deal. Ow! Ah. Well, I'd like to think at this point, now that we have the gravity suit, everything that hits us is just like, Ah! <laughs> Stop! No! I don't like... Well, yeah, they, they hit her, and then they... Stare back in shock, look at their own hands and start shaking and con convulsing. For they realize the gravity of the situation. And then they start to just slowly fall apart, atom by atom. <laughs> <laughs> this is the power of the gravity suit. Aim and fire. And I gotta pull it from that other end over there. What? I think. Yeah, there we go. Up here, and then. Yoink! I mean, yank! All of that just for that. That's that's basically Metroid. All of that just for that. Right, so that's where we can yeah. do this! Oh! All these power bomb shenanigans. I know they're everywhere. Nice! Yeah! That's just getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Ow. Alright. Just like my arsenal. Alright, now we can move on. Oh, get away from him! Ah! Okay, so we're pretty much in the collection stage, yeah? Like, we're getting there. Or just... Well, uh, th this level is kind of straightforward, basically. I mean, there's only three Metroids, and all they're giving you is just a, mm -hmm. a hefty challenge. Yeah. The next area is, like, the final level. It's like, alright, here it is! So this is just, you know, basically penultimate level stuff. Get a few more items, uh... Or, yeah, a few more power-ups, a few more items, uh... Get some Metroids and all that. One's coming up. One is coming up, yes. Uh, uh, yes, coming up. Do you think in the Metroid... Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> a lot of owie. Uh, do you think in the Metroid universe, this game was actually called uh, Metroid Samus Returns? Wait, no. Sorry. Samus Metroid Returns? There we go. Where you just eliminate 35 Samuses. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got the gravity suit, dude! I'm telling you, I can't beat her! She's impossible! Ah, oh, great, I'm facing Omega Samus. She just has a black suit. That's I think great. here's where I- there we go. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Oh, I love bomb sparking. I'd, I'd, I'd do it all the time. If I could. In order to go to work. Or to go to school. Or to go grab a Mountain Dew from the fridge. Bomb sparking everywhere. Metroid, Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, I think you're the only one who finds that funny. I know! <laughs> that, that's, but that's okay. I'll keep doing it for you. I think everything is funny. It's a curse. Funny only the Nisco, Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> I laugh at everything. I'm annoying. Why do I keep getting brought along? <laughs> Jesus. God, I, like, the thing is, I find my own archetype annoying. Like, when I watch other Let's Players that laugh at everything, I'm like, shut the fuck up! It's not funny! And be like, God, all this guy does is tell puns! He screams all the time! What's with this guy? Anyway, subscribe to Ultra Director Chester! So wait. obnoxious! God! <laughs> I think it's all about level, and, like... Well, that, yeah. A, a little bit too much. Like, if you did nothing but make puns, I would just be like, dude, tone it down a bit. Please. Well, I don't know. There, the uh, not not the algorithm, but the the thought is, no matter what you make on YouTube, somebody will find it in entertaining. Right. Yeah. It is statistically impossible for somebody to make a video that nobody likes. Hmm. So I guess we found a certain number of people that enjoy Metroid. Metroid. Like even if you find a video that everybody hates. You would all agree that everybody hates it. So that's something you can all agree on. I know, but nobody would like the video. See, we're talking about the video, not the fact that people like or hate it. They like how much they hate it. That, and also, you gotta have, you have to take into consideration the ironic crowd. Mm. Like the, like how I like the rapper Viper. <laughs> I like him completely ironically. Ironically, yeah. But no, he's great. <laughs> I mean, hey, you don't bullshit like most other rap stars these days. Well, well, ten years ago did. Rap's getting better now. Rap is getting better now. Like, the, the fact that I actually enjoy it means that rap's improving. Oh, yeah. I had some good shit. Yeah, Run the Jewels, Childish Gambino, Kendrick Lamar, Joya Lucas. And my favorite, Metroid Metroid. Metroid Metroid. You think Wu-Tang Clan will ever do a Metroid Metroid song? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's on that uh, one in a million uh, d uh, album that they made for Martin Shkreli. Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> I just want Method Man to rap about Metroid. That's all I want, really. <laughs> God, that guy that always laughs is laughing again. Get him to stop. God! And the pun man's doing the pun thing again. Why Jeez. are they laughing at a comedy series? I don't get it. That's supposed to be about video games. Well, here, I'll just sing the Metroid theme song. Metroid, Metroid. Ha, 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 Metroid, 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 Metroid. And then just to shake it up. Metroid, oh, Metroid, Metroid, oh, Metroid. Everybody put your hands on your hearts for the singing of the National Metroid a Anthem. And then we get somebody in the comments <laughs>, laughs in British. Alright, here's a pun for you. Hmm. Samus uh, goes to Walmart. Yes. She's like, yeah, I, um, I bought this shirt uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. but uh, then I went to put it on back at home and it didn't fit, so... What are you doing? Free aim. I'm gonna need to... I know, what am I doing? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to... Uh, Samus returns! Yeah, she, she, she returns. Yeah. Yes! Enjoy your three more missiles. That's all you're getting, by the way. That's, hey, your, that's hey, your allowance. Hey, Adam! Samus calls from the office. What is it, Samus? Says Adam. It's like, uh, how do you, uh, change, uh, to a new line in a word processor? You press the enter key. Well, there is no enter key. Really? Oh, well then you press the- you press that key right there. Oh, you mean this one? Samus returns. Mm. Mm. Mom, the guy's making puns again. I told you you should have gone back to watch Bubble Guppies instead of UDJ and the Niskel. Goodbye, Adam Malkovich, says Samus, and she and she whips away. Hey, Samus. Yeah? Samus returns. Hey, look, another hey, Metroid. Today, man, this one's kind of darker, I think. Uh, so it might have more health. Because that's how video games work. You know, he just might. The darker the Metroid, the darker its heart. The more health it has. Oh, good. Where did the fire come from? He's just starting out. I just, I'm still confused by the fire. Where did the fire. electricity come from? 
Maybe this is like the Metroid's equivalent of Superman. Like, there's the, the laser eyes, although it's just coming out of his mouth. Oh, I can't wait for Metroid 4, the quest for peace. <laughs> That's when they're all wiped out, unfortunately. I mean, wouldn't that be stupid if they made, like, you know, a dark, evil version of the established main character that would, um... Where was I going with this? I don't know, all I know is Metroid, Metroid. Yeah, except Dark Samus wasn't a uh, uh, weak, flimsy argument, you know, for against nuclear warfare. <laughs> That I know. I don't know. Was she? That, that I know of. Was at least. she? I mean, unless a phazon was uh, you know, always a metaphor for nuclear bombs. Nuclear bombs. <laughs> you know, I think we I think we can do that if Kojima ever did a, a Metroid game. <laughs> Please don't. Get there ideas. there ever a Metroid game that would have anti nuclear war sentiments? It would be a, a Hideo Kojima produced one. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, since he's now a, a Sony product, <laughs> that would be a lawsuit up the ass. Unless, is he freelance? Or is he strictly Sony? I don't I can't know. Remember. Kojima, uh, it's not Kojima Productions anymore. What's his, what's his studio called? Kojima Productions. Oh, it is? It's just under a different name. Un under a different umbrella, okay. Yeah. So, if he is actually freelance and not strictly Sony, that might happen. I don't know if he's strictly Sony or not. I, I mean, I thought he was. But I, I really don't know. Maybe mm. they maybe they work together for Death Stranding, and that's it. But maybe. But don't you remember uh, who who was it that? Uh, well, I remember we talked about this when we did Orange Peripheral. <laughs> uh, the guy who was talking about Kojima helping or joining Sony for his one game looks so damn happy. He's <laughs> like, "We're gonna make all the money." Then it turns out we just got a glorified walking simulator. Yeah, it was glorious. I'll take your word for it. We have two different thoughts on Death Stranding. Exactly. I got it, he didn't. Uh, it's, I don't think it's much about getting, there's just nothing to do. You mean you didn't get it? I mean, mm. whatever bullshit Kojima was on, I was all for. <laughs> except when <laughs> except when he decides to bring on people he knows on Instagram and uh, pretty yeah, models exactly. on Instagram. Yeah, exactly, his friends, it's like, hey, I'm making a game, you want in? <laughs> I mean, if you, made, if you play Death Stranding and you stop playing at the chiral artist part, I completely understand, she was useless. <laughs> She was just a pretty face because she looked ah! she looked hot and Kojima was like, oh, yep, she's in my game. There we go. My god, you almost died. That was actually a close match. Yeah, that tail, de that tail is death. And... Ba -doo! Got that's, it. That's all three Metroid. Metroid. Metroids. No, it, the moment's gone. Uh, the moment's gone. It's, yeah, know, it's all gone. Moment, moment. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of glad Samus doesn't have Instagram because I don't want her inviting anybody else to these <laughs> voyages to destroy all the Metroid Metroids. Oh, well, that's the thing. She's so isolated. I think that she does have an Instagram account, but it's only followed by like ten people, five of which are dead, two of which are are, uh, are for, for uh, space chips or whatever. She has one picture of the baby Metroid <laughs> that she reposts every year. Every year, uh, say, remember the baby. The ah. Like she updates like once every couple no, years to go no, new mission. No, 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 no! You are not dying here. No, I'm not. I, I mean, there's no big deal because you see that E down there. That's, that's an energy. That's station. that's the spare E tank I get if I die. Oh yeah. So um, there is nothing to fear. Samus is here. Have no fear. Samus is here. After she, you know, breaks off the Federation, she suddenly becomes. A vigilante superhero. Yeah. I need to figure out my secret identity. It's like, I don't think you need to worry about that, because, uh, I mean, you're already... People already think you're a man. Good point. Or a robot. Even better point. One of the biggest plot twists boiled down to... It's a girl! Yeah, biggest plot twist of, like, 1986. It's... I think, I think people know by now. And if you don't... Welcome to the Metroid series. Honestly, just imagine, if somebody actually went this long without knowing the plot twist, beat the entire game, didn't even die, they got to the end of the game and got one of the best endings, where she takes off the power suit. Ooh, I'm playing a very effeminate man. And it's just, whoa, nice hair, Terry Bogard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. We're moving on to the last area of the game. Sweet. Bring it on. Can't wait to see how you die. Do you think I'm gonna die? No. You think I 
I'm gonna die. A UDJ of the past would have died, but not the one with hindsight and post. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> post not commentary. The, yeah, yeah, not the one who is playing this game with a laser with a laser focus right now. Laser focus. Unperturbed by really bad jokes. No, oh, no, I'm very perturbed by them. Oops. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, uh, oh, yep, saw right. that coming. Yeah, all right, okay. Yeah. See, I'm glad you're doing all this so I can technically say I beat this game 100%. Well, yeah. I mean, your name is on the Let's Play, so I should change that. <laughs> this one episode has me scrubbed from it. You've Metroid been talking <laughs> Metroid Simmons Returns, episode 10 with UDJ and friend. UDJ and someone else. Guy I found in my neighborhood. Yeah, it should be all about me, like I should have a big fanfare. Yeah. Ultra Director Duster, let's play Extravaganza Special! Whoa! And guest. And guest. <laughs> it's like Edna Mode. <laughs> and guest. <laughs> You'll always be my Wait, plus can't you, one. Can't you pull that? No, I, got, I gotta be in a place to pull it first. No, yeah. I mean the one on the bottom. The bottom? That one. Oh, wait, you already pulled it. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I'm seeing things. Yeah, you're seeing me pull things. Pull it! Woo! Can you bop it? I did pretty good on bop it back in the day. I think my score, and I only stopped because I got bored, was 250. But I had two... Er, I, I had the extreme version. I did too. That's where I stopped. Because I got Flick bored. Flick it and twist it. I did great. I got like 100 and... Maybe like a, about 200 points, maybe, almost. Still have the best score between the two of us. What? 250. 250? Hell yeah. Well, I won't believe you until we get you, until we actually get that thing and you prove it, so, uh, yeah. I might still have it around here. I don't know. <laughs> still don't believe you. I won't <laughs> believe you until... Uh, flick it. <laughs> Boing. Not believing, no. Bop it. Shh. Twist it. Oh, is that what it was? It was just 250 and it says, Bop it! 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 I did like the fact that it got a lot faster. Oh yeah. And then of course once I think when you hit the fifty mark it goes da 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 and then it starts to slow down again and then it goes a lot faster. Maybe that's how we're good at Wario Wear. Thank you, Bop it. I don't know this newest Wario Wear I really suck at. I had a yo-yo version of Bop it. That exists? Yeah. Really? It was called uh, uh, Zing it I think. Zing it. So you had, you know, there was a button on the yo-yo, you say, you know, bop it! Yeah. Yeah. Then you had zing it, where, where you just, you know, it's, it, it's a mechanical yo-yo, so you just, you know, yeah. and then there's loop it. Where you actually gotta actually loop the thing, oh, but... Oh, weird. But you gotta, you gotta do it right, otherwise it's gonna kind of zing. So you know what I do when it says loop it? I just pull it out all the way, and then put it back, <laughs> and it counts as a loop! You cheated the... 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 Bop it, yo -yo. I didn't cheat it, I cheesed it. Because you still have to, you know, do the lube in order to get the points for it. Cheese in the Bop it yo yo. What is this, Garbo? <laughs> oh my god. I was always. I, uh... I found an exploit in the Bop it yo yo. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna do great at YYDQ. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you cheesed a kid's toy. Who is this guy? Who is this guy doing 100% runs of Metroid games and then admits to cheesing a bop it? Same guy who cheated on Nocturne. <laughs> and still couldn't win. The universe will never... Well, that's because Atlas games are that fucking hard. They are! By design. Well, that one especially! I remember playing Strange Journey using a DS action replay and the final boss still won't hit me. Well, in my defense, I didn't use Action Replay on uh, Strange Journey until, like, the very last level to give me an advantage on the last boss, which oh, I didn't need oh, same finish. here. Same here. I waited till the last possible moment. And then I think I, I was on route for the neutral ending, which really fucking sucks. I, I think I was... Well, all three endings suck. They're all bad. The, They're all bad endings. The neutral so. ending's actually the best ending. Would you believe that? Yeah, I believe it. Well, I, haven't, I don't know if Redux did anything or not. I don't think so. I think it's just one of those, the same they did with Devil Survivor. I think they just added a little extra and voice at work, maybe. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, that's what, was, that's what was missing from Strange Journey. Voice work. 
They weren't talking, I couldn't get invested! And how that the cultural zeitgeist is literally eating the planet! Mm-hmm. That's what I like about my Shin Megami Tensei games. The parallels to where I'm living now and how shitty it is. So that's what it is. Mm -hmm. The zeitgeist that's eating the planet in Strange Journey is just NFTs! I wonder how many people, like, we just blew their minds. I think they're the same people who don't think Metal Gear games are political. <laughs> Do people really think that? Yeah, people don't think Metal Gear games are political. Well, uh, they don't know politics then. No, or, they don't. Or, or, you know, <laughs> basic history in the Cold War and beyond. I mean, there are people who say, get my politics out of my games. Also, Metal Gear is my favorite game. Hmm. I mean, did, did you even play Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> You know, Metal Gear Solid 1 ends on basically a plea to say, end nuclear, er, end nuclear warfare. I mean, come on. Metal Gear Solid 5 has a special cutscene for everyone burying all their nukes. It's the peace cutscene. It's the fucking... Chi there's, there's child <laughs> soldiers in Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, You're right, not political. Uh, Anyway. I, I think what they mean is that I don't want people on the left criticizing me for my video games. Metal Gear Rising, the president is the final boss. Eh. I don't want to hear it. Hell of a way to end an episode, I guess. See you next time on Metroid Samus Returns!